guys, it's Tracy, welcome to my kitchen. So, I wanna share a recipe with you guys today that a friend of mine um, asked me to make. So, she is an Arbonne consultant and she sent me some samples of, I don't know if you guys can see this, of some protein shake mix. So this is a chocolate one and then I have a vanilla one here. But I chose to make or use the chocolate one today. And so I did some research. I've actually never cooked with protein powder before. But there's a lot of fun recipes out there. So um, as I've been sitting around snacking on unhealthy foods, I thought, why not help a friend out as well as have some fun stuff to, to snack on that's a little bit better for me than what I've been having. So I decided to make some Arbonne brownie batter protein balls. Um, they're just a couple of ingredients. So we're going to use the protein powder. I'm going to use um, some almond butter, a few nuts, um, some ground flax seed as well as hemp seed, some cacao, and I also got this kind that has uh, reishi uh, mushrooms in it, so a little healthier. We're going to use a little bit of this pumpkin um, puree, and then I may add some maple syrup, that's the unhealthy part. It doesn't call for that, um, but I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna add um, some Vietnamese cinnamon. So I don't know if you guys have ever cooked with Vietnamese cinnamon. It's a little bit uh, spicier or pe more pepper-like than normal. So you don't need a lot because it can become bitter if you use a lot of this. But if you have normal cinnamon, then that's just as good. And then we're gonna really coat it once it gets cool with some coconut slices. So, um, stick around and I can show you guys how simple this can be, um, but excited to, um, to use these products for uh, this, this really healthy recipe. Okay, so hopefully you can see this, but I'm first going to start with my Arbonne Essentials Protein Powder Mix. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to use the whole thing since she just gave me a sample, but if you're planning to make the entire recipe, you're going to use about five to six scoops of the chocolate protein powder that you have at home. So I'm just gonna dump that into the bowl. And then I'm gonna take two tablespoons, well, I'm gonna half that. So I'm gonna take one tablespoon, but the, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of my cacao and my mushroom powder. I'll put a little bit more in there. I can't hurt to have a little bit more of that. Then I'm going to put one cup of almond butter instead of the two cups, but it does call for two cups. So I'm going to measure that out really quickly. Um, and I got the unsweetened almond butter, which this recipe didn't say sweetened or unsweetened. I would assume it was sweetened, which is why I am adding a little bit of the maple syrup to sweeten it a little bit. Um, but the protein powder probably has a little bit of sweetness as well. So we're going to take one cup of that. Then we're going to take, it calls for one can of the puree, um, the pumpkin puree. But also, you do want to strain your pumpkin puree as much as possible. I had a lot of water in there and you really want it to be um, not as liquidy. So I'm going to take half of this since I'm halving the recipe. But you would use the entire can if you do the full recipe. Um, and then I'm going to put in um, about a tablespoon of this mixed flax seed and hemp seed mixture that I made. So maybe a little bit more. You don't have to add that, but it just gives some extra nutrients into it. Then I'm going to put a, I'm going to start with a teaspoon of the maple syrup because I don't want it to be too sweet and then you can always taste it. Um, I'm going to put a little cinnamon just a tap and then I'm going to mix this and then I'm going to maybe chop my then I'm going to chop my um, my nuts that I have there and I may need to add a little bit more puree so you can kind of just play with it. You want it to be thick enough that you're going to roll it into a dough and we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes um, for it to get hard and then we'll take it out we'll roll it into little balls and then we'll coat it in our coconut there so if you can't see that I mean I think this is thick enough but it's a pretty thick batter that you want to be able to have so that you can roll it into little balls. 
So we're gonna do that. I'm going to chop the nuts. I'm gonna put those in and mix that in. And then I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to let it chill. Then I'll bring it out and I'll show you guys the next step. I wanted to take you through how I finished these, um, these brownie batter protein balls. So I took the batter out of the refrigerator um, after it was uh, cooled for 30 minutes. And then I turned it into these little balls, as you can see, like this, um, bite-sized balls. And then I took this uh, coconut, the sliced coconut, it's not sweetened, and I chopped it a little bit. And now we're just gonna roll the balls in that. So we're gonna take the ball, roll it. I don't like a lot of coconut. You can roll it as much as you want. And then we're just gonna, they're gonna look like that. And we're gonna do all of them. And then I'm just gonna put them back in the refrigerator because uh, they do have the pumpkin in them. So you're gonna wanna keep them cold and that'll keep them a little bit harder. But um, the question also may come up if I don't have pumpkin puree in my refrigerator or in my cabinet, like what can I substitute? So I've never done it, but I would assume you could probably substitute something like um, pureed sweet potato or pureed butternut squash. Um, it might have a slightly different flavor, but you still wanna make sure that there's not a lot of liquid in there. So whatever you do, I think roasting is usually better. That takes a lot of the liquid out. Um, just make sure that it's not liquidy. So <clears throat> hope you guys enjoy these as much as we do, but they're super simple. Like I said, only about five or six ingredients. And most of these ingredients you probably have in your pantry um, or you can easily get at the, fridge, at the um, grocery store. So this is what the finished product looks like. So hopefully you guys can see that. And then again, it's, I just use these Arbon Essential Protein Powder Shakes. They have vanilla, they have chocolate. Um, you know, you could use other protein powders, but I decided to use this today. I've used Arbon products in the, in the past and I really like them. So, um, so again, a healthy snack for us all in quarantine. Hope you guys enjoy.